Margaret started arguing this situation was not a good situation to be in. It could be potential there. We can't be friends anymore. We got flipping locked out of Margaret's house. All of us in one bed. <laughs> I've just parked up in like the Matalang car park and I just went to Costa because I needed a drink. I got a caramel ice latte. I always get this. It needs me. I'm not gonna lie, I've literally spilled all down my boob. Guys, I just looked at that camera angle. What is that? I don't know how to stand my phone up in this stupid thing. I hope this is a good angle. I don't know. <laughs> I feel so odd because people can just see me talking to my little phone. But anyways, also, oh my god, I tried to film this whilst I was driving a minute ago. And I literally, honestly, I found my phone was going to fall out the thing. And I just don't know if I can speak and drive at this point. Oh my god, I hate driving. Also, this stupid thing. Basically, I'm going to go to Costa and then I'll sort my little phone out. I'm a bit scared it's going to fall. And if it goes under my feet, that's not good. I literally hate driving. I can't. No, I like driving pace, I know. I'm fine with that. I don't know if this phone's gonna hold. Uh, stop going up my ass, mate. This drink as well. I get it every time I go to Costa. It's such a basic drink, but I love it so much. I hope this car doesn't park next to me. Please go away. Please go away. Please, no. <gasps> no, what flip? I can't deal with this. Anyways, <laughs> right, so it all started. It all started with my best friend at the time who i was friends with for ages we was we went to high school together and we was friends for like i think we was friends overall for like two three years i don't really know but this was like 2021 anyways it all started in 2021 with my best friend obviously at the time and um, obviously we was friends throughout like high school i went to obviously my friend's house we was like bored it was like beginning of summer i guess and Basically, she was saying that like her neighbour is always like in the garden. She was like, oh, should we shout out at him and say hello and stuff? I was just like, yeah, okay. We basically just like shout out the window at him, which is so weird looking back, like who does that? Like you don't just shout at a random boy in your best friend's neighbour's garden. Looking back so weird, he told us to come over to his house. This person, so my best friend's neighbour is my boyfriend's best friend. We, like went round to his house. We also had like a can of like beer i hate beer it's disgusting just like listen to music and do have like let me it's so weird like we just went into a strange house i genuinely thought when i was in that situation when we was there i literally was like like i was scared i thought like he might kill us you know what but you've got to kind of you're going into a random person's flipping house you don't know what could happen i'm just one of the people i overthink every situation i think the worst of everything which just isn't good i guess I mean, actually, no, I think it's good in some situations, but I guess I don't need to be scared of every single person. My best friend, like, got with this boy. You know what? I need names for these people. So the boy that I'm talking about now, my boyfriend's best friend, we're going to call him... We're going to call him... What's the name? Bob. He can be called Bob. And my best friend at the time, we'll just call her Margaret. Bob and Margaret kind of, like, hit it off, whatever. And then I think we all literally slept at his house. It's so weird looking back. Like, why did I get myself into this situation? Honestly, I wanted to go home. Or not home. Well, yeah, home. Well, I wanted to go back to Margaret's house because I didn't want to be in this weird situation. But yeah, we ended up like sleeping there. And then I think we went home in the morning. Moving on, it was like, I think this was about a week later. And I was just at home sleeping. And my best friend like was trying to call me message me because she was saying that like bob has a best friend stuff and she was like come over like because he's round at the moment whatever i think i was just sleeping so apparently margaret told me that like he would come and pick me up and stuff and we can all like, hang out but i was sleeping because i'm glad i was because <laughs> like who wants to go out at like midnight not me honestly no, someone else is parked next to me and I can't. I can't deal with it. I can't deal with these people parking them next to me. But anyway, so yeah, I think another week went by maybe. And I was at my, I was at Margaret's house again. And she started messaging Bob 
asked him like to come out and surf and i think i messaged my boyfriend we'll just call him by his actual name because it's on social media do you know what i mean his name's ricky i was messaging him and stuff and we was like oh come and pick us up we can go on a drive blah blah blah, blah. yeah so we was like oh let's go on a drive and obviously ricky was down for it he came he came over to margaret's house and obviously bob's house but bob didn't want to come out he just wasn't in the mood but obviously ricky persuaded him to come out and i'm sorry he did and we all just went on a drive to be fair i did really like ricky at the time like you know i thought he was attractive whatever but yeah so i thought that like this could be a potential boyfriend at the scene but anyways long story short we stayed out all night then we got flipping locked out of margaret's house because i'm locked us out and so we literally we all slept at bob's house bob's house three and four four of us in one bed we literally all slept in a bed and i woke up sweating with makeup on still on i just wanted to go home i just wanted to go home honestly them situations are just not the one and we ended up going back to um margaret's house and then we were speaking and stuff she was like which honestly i found the strangest thing like, i don't know she was like okay we need to block them now and i was like what and she was like yeah like we need to block them like i don't think we should ever see them again and i was like oh because i was like i kind of like like this person i don't just want to like block him when i do you know what i mean there could be potential there and she was just like no you have to block him because i'm gonna block bob and i was like what like that was so strange anyways like i didn't block him i just went home i went home and it was like my brother's birthday we went out for a meal it was like me my sister obviously my mum my brother's girlfriend yeah what is that noise but yeah we all went out obviously for my brother's meal me and margaret started arguing because she really wanted me to block ricky and i was just like no like i kept just saying like no no why do i need to block him i just think that's weird like do you know what i mean like there's no reason for me to block him because i actually do like this person it's like why should i block him and i guess like some people will be like yeah but you're choosing a boy over your your best friend but like it's not it wasn't even like that. it's like why are you trying to control who i have in my life the people i have in my life and it wasn't even the fact that like he had said something bad to her or anything like that because none of that happened but yeah and obviously i wasn't going to block him and then she was like well we can't be friends anymore if you won't block him and i was like oh and i think for me at this point I feel like our friendship was gonna come to an end at some point i could feel it but i'm not a confrontational person and i don't like bringing up stuff or causing arguments with people because i just get scared and also she was the only friend i had at the time so it felt like if i didn't have her i'd have no one that kind of sense so it was like i was scared to like actually fall out with her i guess because i felt like i would have no one in my life anymore like to go to or whatever because like we were friends for so long like literally the closest people ever but it, i think those things are leading up to this situation that made me think like oh she's not the best friend for me do you know what i mean but i mean the whole time we was friends i mean she was a great friend and i don't want to say anything bad about her but obviously that this situation was not a good situation to be in and like i just don't want people controlling who i have in my life like i don't think a friend a real friend would actually make you just cut someone out of your life like that so i just thought it was a bit controlling and i was just like well no i'm not gonna block him i stood my ground and this is something i never do and i think my sister helped me message her because i don't like arguing people i hate it it gives me so much anxiety and so my sister literally like was typing to this girl like pretending to be me or whatever and that was kind of like the end to our friendship which is also how me and my boyfriend met which is crazy because i feel like if me and this girl didn't end our friendship and like i chose their friends with her over like blocking this boy so i think that made sense then i feel like me and ricky wouldn't have ever been able to be together ever since we got together i've become such a better person in myself and everything like it's crazy like the girl i used to be like i look back at like memories and stuff like on snapchat i'm like who is that like girl was crazy but that's basically how we met it was literally through my best friend's neighbor which is so weird like why was we shining out the window at this random poor boy like that's just so weird like why was we doing that but anyway that's also the story on how me and my friend ended me and my best friend ended our friendship 
Does that make sense? I don't know. I'll stop it. I just think it's crazy. Like, looking back, I'm just, like, mad. I just don't know. Like, I mean, I didn't feel like I was the wrong person in this situation. Like, I don't know if there's anything we could have done that would have, like, we would have come to a conclusion of I can still speak to him and still be your friend. Like, I don't know why she wanted me to just block him out of the blue like that. Like, her reason, like, what she said to me was that she doesn't want to speak to Bob anymore. So you can't speak to Ricky anymore. And I was like, no, that's not how it works. Like... Do you know what I mean? Maybe if he had been mean to her, if he had said something bad to her, like, do you know what I mean? Then, like, if he disrespected her, like, obviously I would have, I wouldn't have wanted to be, like, be with someone like that. Or I wouldn't have wanted to stay in contact with someone like that. But he didn't. And that's why I don't get, because Ricky's a lovely person. Everyone who knows him says he's such, like, the nicest person ever. And he is. So I didn't really understand that, like, why she wanted me to block him, I guess. I just don't know. Was I the wrong person in this situation? Because I don't think so, but... But yeah, um, anyways, me and obviously Ricky, we kept just talking and we weren't really like heading towards a relationship. I think we both weren't ready to get in a relationship. So we basically just stayed friends for like eight months. We ended up getting together, but it's literally just how me and my boyfriend met. You know, this is more of a story time how me and my best friend fell out. Honestly, I might try to hit that. I'm just so glad I didn't listen to her and actually stop speaking to Ricky because imagine like we've been together for over two years now and like i've been the happiest i've ever been in my life i don't think we ever would have met either if it wasn't for oh, i've got coffee all down me man but i don't think we would have met if it wasn't for that situation if it wasn't for shouting out the window at bob sorry bob that i shouted out the window at you i don't know if it was me or margaret that shouted out the window i can't remember i'm quite a shy person i don't think i would have just shouted out the window at someone but I don't know but yeah that's really it basically I, mean, I guess it's not the in most interesting story but i look back at this time of my life and i just think that's a crazy time of my life like i think that's the craziest story i have i don't oh my god what is that there's a fly in my car or something there's a bug but yeah crazy time of my life that was 2021 to me feels like a fever dream it doesn't feel like a real time in my life because like i was just a crazy gal I don't know if I told this story very well. I'm going to draft my boyfriend's out. And also, sorry that I literally... I was going to say this is going to be a drive with me. But I feel like it's literally just going to be a story time now. Um, oh, my alarm. My Fitbit alarm's going off. I don't know if I've told this story the best. Hmm. Honestly, no hate to this girl, though. Like, I hope she's doing all right. Do you know what I mean? I've, like, moved on from it. And all I can say is I wish her the rest anyways i hope you enjoyed this little story time and i don't think i'm the best storyteller because i feel like i get distracted and i forget what i'm talking about thanks for watching if you like the story time leave a thumbs up on the video and make sure you're subscribed i'll see you next time